what I have been doing here, just mm -hmm. for a couple of minutes, um, is I've been browning off these chicken pieces. So I've got one chicken which I've cut into pieces, or you can just add, you know, all legs if you like, yep. all breasts or whatever. And they're nice and brown in this quite wide pan in a couple of tablespoons of oil. So that was olive oil or do you use any oil? A sunflower that? oil, really, I suppose right, we okay. use more traditionally than an olive oil. Mm -hmm. And now into the oil in the hot pan, I'm going to add the onions. One yep. large onion or two smaller onions yes. sliced. Oh. Sliced and not too finely sliced, by the way. Not too things. finely sliced, no. I mean, this is, you know, a rustic. A rustic dish. A rustic so where dish. did this rustic dish actually come from? Well, it's a funny one. It this is a typical Rajasthani um, style mm -hmm. dish. Curry. I've never been to Rajasthan and I would love to go. But it's really interesting. The food in Rajasthan, Ooh. sorry, I'll add the garlic yeah. and the ginger in. But there we go. A couple of teaspoons of grated ginger and a few cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. The food of Rajasthan, um, it's really wonderful. It's often quite hot, mm -hmm. as even as Indian food um, goes. And um, Rajasthan, which is you know the largest area in India, yep. um, but the food is often served just at room temperature or even slightly warm. And this curry is absolutely wonderful. It's got natural yogurt in it, and it's best served at room temperature, not hot, hot. Right. Okay. And also, if it's too hot anyway, the yogurt curdles. You are very dish, fond of yogurt as well, haven't you? I'm naked, yeah, I so. love yogurt. I just, I love. But then you know what? Next week I'll be into basil and pasta and so what, one. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. So what? Okay. what so, sorry, I was thought you wanted another ingredient. Well, um, yes. I put yep. a bit with. Could you pass me the turmeric, just please? You yell out what you Thank need, you. and a I'll pass it to you. A teaspoon of turmeric. In the meantime, so you're the perfect assistant. And in the meantime, tell me, how, how did you get started in cooking in the first place? Um, I she went down to, back. when um, I was 17, I went down to Ballymaloo for three months thinking I would go on to do something else after that, but this was just to learn how to cook, to yep. have, but then survival, actually, uh, survival skills. Yes, exactly, yep. to travel. Yep. Um, but I loved it and I've been cooking ever since. And you stayed down there ever since? I've been down there, apart from a couple of years of travelling, I've yeah. been down there ever since. Okay. Yes. Everything next? Chilli, please. Chilli? I've got dried chilli flakes, so yep. about a teaspoon of dried mm -hmm. chilli, well actually maybe I'll be a bit more say half teaspoon of dried chilli flakes. And next I think is nutmeg, I'll use about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, thank you nutmeg. very much. Nutmeg, up sir. You tell me, oh, I just say we oui, chef, we oui, chef. Yes chef. <laughs> I love it. Yes chef, yes chef. Then you say Cumin. Chef. Cumin, thank coming you. Up. Say Ooh. about half, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cumin. This is going to be very, very fragrant, this, this Oh, car, it's isn't it? wonderfully fragrant. It really is. Cardamom next? And cardamom. I'm going to just take the seeds from four pods. I've already got them in here. Okay. In the way you peel the pods. Yes. Take the seeds out. Crush them up. Crush them up. Very important to use very, very fresh oh, spices. It is, is absolutely. Grind them as often as you can. You know, even if you're just grinding a little batch. Because otherwise they lose weeks. their essential they oil. They really do.